cool, man. And then, um, yeah, like uh, another thing, I think not just me, but a lot of people who follow you, the the the, the you know call you like the, the master of punch and stuff like that. I, I think I remember one line when you said, "Well, before I let my fans down, I make sure I put the I put on the AC, <laughs> things like that." Yeah, you, you know, like now. When I write some verses, like some of the comments, is good. for me, if I want to write a song, right, yeah, I get up, if it hits me, once I start with one, two line, I go the entire song, I don't stop it. Is, is that how you rap? Like, does it hit you or you, you just feel like, yo, today, I'm going to write a song? Okay, so I, I had dates when I used to write a lot, like I'm talking, uh, well, Fools Cabinet, the teacher's notebook. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so, uh, I mostly don't write everything, but I just know that I want to record and I want it to sound like this. this. I want it to be hard as this. So sometimes I take the beat with me. I listen to the beat. Yeah. When I when when it's night when maybe when I want to sleep, I I I, I listen to the beats and and look at what I want to talk about and everything. So once I'm in the studio, I get it going. So it's been a while, if I'm being honest. Yeah. It's been a while since I sat down to, you know, write a full song. Like how you say, like how you're talking about doing it. Yeah. It's a good way. But it's been a while since I did that. I think normally now when I'm about to do a song, what's most important to me is the hook. I'm in the chorus. Okay. So if I get the melodies and what I want there, the verse, uh, I can just, you know, go through it. Man, it's a lot that I'm catching I'm learning too, man. You got to learn from the best to be the best. No? <laughs> it's, it's, it's problem, uh, it, and this thing that I'm talking about is a problem for a whole lot of cats. Yeah. That's why when you say you are taking them to the studio, it's a problem. Because uh, they need to really lay back and, you know, write and write and write to get maybe scrabble some books or something, scratch some papers and stuff. Yeah. To get what you want. But, I mean, if you catch me anywhere in town, and and, and reason why I say it's been a while since I did it, it's not because I got lazy, but it's because I have overdone it. So, whatever it is that I can come up with within a minute or two, yeah. it's going to be a problem for someone to come up with. But it's because... I did it over and over and over and over again. So it's very easy for me to pick up my phone and say that, listen, listen I'm typing a 16 bar verse. I'm just doing it right now. And I can come up with it. Man. But that's because I started with a rap. Okay. And I did it. Again. Yeah, yeah, man. So, I, I mean, if you catch me, if we had a that you catch me anywhere in town, uh, let's go to the studio. I mean, if I really want to do it, I wouldn't have to tell you that. Oh, you know, I don't have my book here, or I'm not ready yet. Uh, let me go home and come later. I mean, we're going. If I if I do it, we're going. You do it, <laughs> man. You always ready, man. I appreciate. Yo, um, I gotta tell this little short story. Uh, the first time I went to the studio. And the, the engineer asked me, have you ever been in the studio before? And I said, yes. Meanwhile, I've never done that. <laughs> I don't know why I said so. <laughs> See, I don't know. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He said, well, I got in the booth. I went in the booth. So he was talking to me through the microphone. But each time he talked to me, I will get out of the booth to like, yo, what did you say? He like, motherfucker, stay in the booth. What? <laughs> Yeah, I do some dumb shit like that, man. I was embarrassed. Like, you, you've been in the booth before? I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, it's a long time, man. I'm like, stay, stay. And I did that like three times, unconscious, you know? Yo, I can hear you. Just stay in the booth. <laughs> and I'm talking, man. It's crazy. Oh, yo. Um, 
That's one thing I gotta ask. Yo, um, does this, um, what I want to say is, what's that question again? Um, yeah, now, um, what actually, yo, like, 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 inspired to, 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 like, you know, be your career in this, man? Yeah. I've learned it. So, I mean, it was, if you go back and ask anyone that knew me, when I, like, that was very close when I was very young, they would tell you that I always liked music. So, I'm not sure any of them, none of my sisters or maybe uh, brothers are surprised that I'm doing music because yeah. I've always liked music. And, you know, I since I was young, I, I would sing, I would, I mean, learn about Mali song and perform it to you. Perfectly. Yeah, man. Yes, exactly. So I've always loved music, and so it's been in me. Um, in life, things happen. Times got harder, and you know, all other things were sleeping away from me. Like yeah. Education, you know, all these other things. But one thing that I've always had with me that wasn't taken away by uh, situations. Yeah. Music, music so man. Things, situations present itself, and things got hard. Yeah, man, you, 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 you know, like, to make music, reason to make music was just automatic in there. Yes, that's what I was saying. And I, I, I feel like, uh, compared to all other genres, I think rap or hip hop, it, it's, it's definitely, and you know, a such powerful way of communicating you know and uh, uh, it, it pushes you to learn man yo like i, I was uh, back then I, I followed like a documentary of nas then i realized that that dude was like a middle school dropout you know what i mean but when you listen to him yo that he's like a congressman man <laughs> i'm like wow yeah seriously like you know like education is not just being in a full world class that people say like in, in camera that you know some people have gone to school but school hasn't really passed through them you know and i think rap is that force out there that and um it doesn't really have bias like it cuts into any culture man i was in china some years man rap is big in china and chinese they sing it phonetically correct but they don't understand but they know it you know what I mean? Like, what are we talking about? But they, they, they can rap Jay-Z in English, but they don't understand the lyrics. It just shows how powerful rap is, man. And, yo, I've also, I've really been a fan of this thing, man. And, but for me, I always get my ass whooped by my mom. Because I, I started going to the club when I was really young, you know. I get back one time. <laughs> Let me tell this story, man. Well, when, when I turned 17 years old, you know, I, I had my room. In the, you know how the Afri our house and camera, like, guys, like, your room is inside. So, uh, my mom came one day from the market and I hired a bricklayer to remove the door inside and put it outside. And she came like, what? Is this my home? How come there's the two doors outside? <laughs> I'm like, yo, man. Listen, I have drama class to attend. Because my mom was like, when you tell her that you're going to school, you have any classes, she let you go. So, that was, that's, that, that was my excuse. Like, you know, I have drama classes, I have to attend. But I'm going to the club. <laughs> but I make sure that I study. You, you know, uh, but she has tried, like, she, she was like, listen, just listen to church songs. That's it. Anything rap, she would break. I used to have pictures of a two-pack my wall. She just could get in my room, like, you know, I've got mom. This, this gangsters never in here. And since I, I, I've i been used to club music, I always play. We had, like, this little, little six battle radio, and I would turn it up so loud. So my mom would come out of the market, and she can hear from, like, down the hill. You know what she would say? She would scream. Stop playing your dad's funeral. <laughs> That's what she calls it. <laughs> I don't want your dad's funeral in here because, she, because it's loud. She, she, you know, she she linked it like you know, like into a funeral. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, man. Now, uh, yo, uh, I I gotta say this, you know, um, with regards to the the beef that you've been having, like I counted those records. They are. I think, if I'm not mistaken, four to five diss tracks against you. Now, four to five, those I've listened to from Sierra Leone and Cameroon. Let me ask you a question. 
what keeps you going? Because I, I, for me, man, I, I think I, I, I'll be burned out. <laughs> what keeps you going, man? Uh, okay, now. <laughs> hmm. Yo, 45, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. Amount. Yeah, I, I count it. But, but I, I would say, I mean, these songs were coming. I, I was I was happy about you know the replies. I never got emotional about any of these replies or even got hit. But I was just best off. It kept me go, going because I felt like I was finally doing something. Like I was doing something for the culture. Yeah. Based on the map, rap music, and you know if you realize out of these artists that are dissing me, are most of the artists that are not being heard even in their country, and. This thing gave them a voice to come out, you know, to also be heard by someone. Yeah. Because countries were getting us work and they were looking for good rappers to represent them. And most of these good rappers weren't on the surface. It was artists from down. I seen, uh, finally, you know, I saw uh, the Cameroonian Goat posted another artist. Yeah. Just because the artist dissed me. Yeah. I've never seen that on his page. <laughs> yeah, I finally saw that. Uh, he, was, he was back in Cow the Narrow anytime Cow dropped a song. Yeah. He said he was about to dish me. Mm -hmm. You know, he brought out other artists. Because most of them felt like uh, this guy is just a young dude. Yeah. Why not ask the young dudes also come at him? And that gave uh, voice to other young MCs uh, from the country to come out uh, and, and be heard by people in the same countries that haven't even heard them before. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I was I was happy about that first off. But second off, oh come on, let's fix it. Let's fix it. Come I, on. I know, I know. <laughs> That is on agribe, man. If, I, if you claim this is your goals, and, and I mean, I'm open your goals. <laughs> you, know, you understand? Yeah, but yeah. the thing is that I, nev I never replied any of this other artists, even though I didn't listen to, to a lot of them. Yeah. I never replied any of them because then what do I got to gain? You understand? Yeah. What, what are the, stati uh, the statistics? When we go to social media, I, I'm way ahead with numbers than you. Yes. Your goat is the one with the blue tick who's supposed to do to be doing something for the culture. Yeah. You know? And so, if me and your goat goes in for the beef, it's either ending as him ending my career or me doing the uh, me ending and his, his career. career. And if that goes down, he has already been there. He's seen what he wants to see. I mean, if I uh, maybe he's gotten and, and enjoyed the things he maybe he wants to enjoy from the industry. How about you, the young artist that is dissing me that? The upcoming, the underground artist that is dissing me. Yeah. You haven't seen nothing yet, and you haven't gained nothing yet. So, uh, I first of all, I cannot break something that hasn't been built. Definitely, definitely. So, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm looking at you as well, but also being the future leader of rap music or of music in your country, you know, taking it somewhere. And at this point, me going in to beef you, uh, no. I mean, come on, an artist, I heard one this song of an artist, he went on a tune and at the end he was asking for help from mm -hmm. uh, Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. you know, saying Sierra Leone, yo, back me, man, let's put this thing yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know I wanted to do it this. No, I didn't know artists knew in my country. <laughs> in my country yeah, I, I, I saw that. I did. I did not ask help from anyone or do anything. I just know that I am enough to mess you up as an MC I, if you want to do it. So, uh, first off, the, the artists that this me, I mean, the 45, about the 45 these records, it had good in it, had bad in it, people were good. But let's face it, if they sit down and be honest, listening from Greg Harris to uh, My Way, mm -hmm. to the moment of truth. Yeah. And you know, every single time that I drop this song, if you realize, I gave intervals for them to drop everything that they want to drop. 
and then I come back. Mm -hmm. and, and any time I come back, <laughs> it's crazy. So from uh, Drakaris to my way, to Movement of Truth, to Two Birds, to um, Holocaust. Yeah. If they can drop one piece song of the out of the 45, that is better than that. Let's see. <laughs> facts for facts. So, I remember this line. Uh, I think it was King B. Uh, he said, uh, uh, "See, alone's got the 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 the, the lighter and cameras got the few." I'm like, "Okay, all right." So together, I'm like, "Man, so you're not gonna stand on your feet?" <laughs> that was that was funny to me. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, man, you could have survived this stuff without asking for see alone." But I understand. <laughs> oh man, yo, um. Now, I, I know, like, you know, if you visit the past when it comes to rap music, right? You got MCs, you, you know, um, I, I probably if Biggie and Peg were seen people like maybe they rap down the collab, like I've seen it with Jay Z and Nas, you know, beefing, and then, you know, it's like flexing the lyrical muscles and then they come back. Do, do, do you see yourself, like, like, um, like doing a collaboration with uh these these dudes? I mean, like, you know, Couch and the other guys that you've had, uh, like, this, you see yourself, like, like, doing something together i mean it, it's all good vibes out here with me when it comes to me yeah yeah i mean if the energy is the same i mean if we have the same it gets to a point where we have the same energy and you know all things are you know cooled down okay because as for me from my side yeah uh i do not hate anybody and i don't think that my Ghanaians or the other fans hate anybody but I mean, I can I can tell you that from uh, till today, I'm still receiving curses. From, from, you know, yeah, from yeah, yeah. In my inbox, I and, know. You know, <laughs> you know so I mean, <laughs> when nerves are calm down, and I mean the song is good and the energy is good. Yeah. Why not? Why not, man? Yeah, I mean, they say that if people are coming, that means you're hot. Because I, I bet if if I did somebody today, anybody looking at that shit, okay, it ain't hot. So if if, <laughs> if you're piercing motherfuckers in their soul, like, man, who the hell is this dude? Yo, man, it's. It, 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 I feel like people will literally shoot me or stab me. Yo, I had dress voice notes. Yeah. Yeah, but yo, there's, there's one thing. Uh, to me, I, I kind of feel like I don't know if I'm wrong, but I feel like the rap friends in Africa a little bit. They they not they they haven't really grabbed the full understanding of rap music. You know, like people put the emotion. Even you react, you just playing it, reacting. It's a problem, yeah. Like I, I think there's this weird nationalism in in, in which is not yes, like talent. Yeah. Yeah. And in a way, I look at it like it, 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 it kills that that uh, that culture. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like some art, there are artists now that they're just scared just to even rap because fans are coming. Like it's music, it's music. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yo, yeah. The question I want to ask is: Is it like looking at you, or is it possible to date someone who has not? Uh, hurt you like yo i just get on it like yeah yeah, yeah. like do, like for you do you have that energy like yo i'm gonna I'm fuck this motherfucker up just like you know for the culture for no, <laughs> no 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 not for no reason <laughs> it, it would have to be a reason because looking at it from uh, last last year yeah uh, yo v said something on twitter yeah which recently he tried to deny he tried to say that I was just beefing him for no reason. And I had this, I have the screenshots, so I brought it. I was like, you forgot saying this because you said it. So, and then when it got down to couch, it wasn't for just no reason. He also said something. That was a back and forth. So just, I mean, to just get up and say that, yo, I'm, I'm just going to fuck you up. Yeah. For no, for no reason. <laughs> it's, it's crazy because, you know, I need to go to the studio. I need to let my producer play something. And then we need to record. We need to shoot that video. So imagine my producer asking me, "So why are we this?" <laughs> See, just say, "Yo, man, I'm horny, man. I need to need yeah. somebody to fuck right you." <laughs>
Ah oh, man, yo, you yeah, got to. It, it, it's really nice that you know getting here on the show and you know hearing from you and stuff like that. I, I think uh, fans out there, including me, you know, definitely is like a mom of fresh air, man. I appreciate what you're doing for the culture and you know inspire other people to really like pick it up and no matter what, like pick up the touch of stick. I just get pulled it. You know what I mean? Yes. If lashes is coming, take it. <laughs> I know someone say, you can't stand the heat. Get the hair out of the kitchen. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Man, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. And we're looking forward to, you know, August 5th. Another Boomba. All right, man. That, that's, it's going to be crazy out there on August 5th. And trust me, uh, we will set the game on fire. No doubt. Yeah. I've seen the T side with like like gas mags on you know man so I'm like woo like little title up here. Shit, it's dark outside. Yeah. <laughs> yo, Joe, I appreciate it, man. And looking forward to hearing your new track on August 5th. Yo, don't forget August 5th, Lyrica Joe is dropping another shit. You know what you know how this guy rolls like that, and it's gonna be crazy. Bless. Bless, man. <laughs>